Hello, Wes here with Buddy RC. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the new QOSD made by Dow RC. Now, this little unit's a little unique versus most. Um, Mini MOSD, you pretty much have to set it up. You have to install the software. It can be quite cumbersome. And the first two couple times that you do it, it's, it's a little confusing and complicated. You have to do quite a bit of reading in order to understand how to use them. These boards come pre-set up with everything you need. All you have to do is install it on the unit and with the instruction sheet that comes with the unit. You can see right here, it doesn't really look that difficult to set up. Now it gets its battery voltage uh, or its power source from the actual video transmitter. So there's no need to run a second battery source or anything like that. Now, coupled with the GPS unit, it gives you everything you need to know where home location is. It's, uh, it's obviously not going to fly back you know, to the location for you. However, it'll give you distance and a direction that you need to go in order to get there. Now, it doesn't state this in the manual, but if you noticed on the board, there is an arrow on it. And common sense would tell me that that would need to be facing forward in order for your direction and compass to be correct. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to show you pretty much how to install it into your unit and since it doesn't depend on any flight data from the flight controller we're just going to install it in with a uh, video transmitter and a camera itself. So let's go ahead and get started. All right pretty simple here. What we have is, is we have the two servo leads that come in the kit. We're going to take one of these servo leads and we're going to cut it and then we're going to create a pigtail that fits the back of our camera. And today we're going to be using a Dragon Rider 600 TV line camera. It's just a simple common camera that you can get from just about anywhere. Um, and then we're going to be using a uh, Boscam transmitter. And this transmitter is somewhat similar to say Fat Shark. The main difference is that some of your wiring pinout is going to be a little different. So pay close attention to that. Now, what I've done is I took the plug from the back of the camera and I soldered it in to a servo lead over here. And we're gonna use this servo lead to plug in to our QOSD. Now, per the instructions, we have our camera. And then we're gonna plug this in to the VCC ground and in on the right side of the board. Now your VCC is your power, obviously your black is going to be your ground, and then most common your yellow is going to be your video in. Then plug the other end of it into your camera. Okay, camera's done and ready to go. All right, we have our transmitter here, and we're just gonna plug one side of the servo lead here into our transmitters. The boss cam one is ground, hot, and then your video in. Now we're gonna to go to the QOSD, and then we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna plug the, the brown one into your ground, the red one, into your VCC and the yellow one into your out. And the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to take our GPS unit and on the back side you'll see right above the plug up in here it'll say ground 5 volts TX and RX. So we're going to plug in here And the RX is the side of the wire that has, it's, it's hard to see, it's actually got a white strip on it, on one of the wires. That white strip is actually going to the RX. So we're going to come over here and we're going to plug it in so that the white strip is over towards the TX RX, the opposite end of the ground. And 
everything's plugged in. Now if you plan on using one of the switches on your transmitter in order to move, maneuver through the menus, you can hook this to a, a receiver. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to go and hook it up to the auxiliary port. And then we're going to come over here, remove our power lead so that we don't get any feedback. We're going to do that by lifting the tab and the plug and then just pulling the red wire out. And then we'll go ahead and tape that down just for safety. All right, now we're gonna plug this in over here on the three remaining pins. You're gonna have one that's gonna to go to the ground, which obviously is going to be our brown wire. And the yellow one is going to go to the PWM for the receiver. Let's get everything turned around here so you can see it all. We'll zoom in on it a little bit so you can see everything that's going on. And there the system is. All plugged up and ready to go. All right, so for the purpose of this demonstration here, we're just gonna use a 3S 1300 battery. Um, with a, an adapter here so that we can plug into our transmitter and the reason why we're doing that is so that we can simulate a real battery in the real environment so we can make sure our battery voltage is monitored correctly and such. So we're going to take this with our little adapter and we're going to plug it into our transmitter here to power our transmitter and in turn we should see everything pop up on the screen. Now what makes this unit unique is it has a built-in compass, barometer, gyroscope, accelerometer and coupled with the GPS puck along with the unit will also give you your home location, your longitude and your latitude. Now on the screen here you'll notice a few things and there might even be a couple more things that we can turn on in the menu but for now straight out of the box it comes up here with your 11.3 volts which is your flight pack. This is going to be your angle, um, uh, your, your flight angle which is going to be your pitch and your roll in degrees. This is going to be your speed, total time, how many GPS satellites you see, and total voltage, distance from home, height from home, your azimuth. And then I believe we can turn on some um, uh, flight indicators here in the middle. Okay, we're going to roll through the menu a little quick here. To get there, we're going to use the button on the back of the QOSD. And a quick press is going to actually set our home location. You see in the upper left, home OK. Now if we want to enter the menu, we're going to press and hold that button for a second. You'll see the menu pop up. Now the GPS baud rate and all that should be set um, already. Uh, VCC calibration, you can go through and actually calibrate the voltage so that it matches the battery so it's a little more accurate. Now there's a few other things in here. Uh, you can change from PAL to NTSC. Um, OSD screen type that just moves stuff around the screen a little bit um, and then once we get down out in some of the other menus you'll actually see where we can turn some stuff on and some stuff off and you can actually level and calibrate it as well compass calibration We're going to go into the other menu, which is there. All right, this is where you can actually turn items on and off within the screen. Uh, let's just pick something here that I really don't care to have on the screen, which is going to be your longitude, latitude, right there. And let's press and hold. And we're going to press and hold again. And quick press turns it off. Press and hold, comes back over. We're going to quick press to get down to save. We're going to press and hold again, and it should let us back out. Now you can go through here and change uh, things, turn things on or off, clear throughout the menu, depending on how you like it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. And we're going to work our way out of the menu here. Now we 
we turn the long longitude and latitude off, and it is gone. Now you've noticed on the screen over here, here in the middle, one thing we talked about before. Now this uh, GPS OSD module does not actually send you back to home, but what it does is it gives you an accurate uh, location and direction of where home is. So if you start to lose orientation, you don't know where you're at, that will actually tell you how to get back home. You'll actually have to do the flying. Well, that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at info at buddyrc.com. Don't forget to check out the new QOSD made by Dow RC. Check us out on Facebook and YouTube pages. Good luck flying, and we hope to see you at the field.